at the start of this protest? Did you yeah, well, I, kick off with a petition? I started the petition, yeah, at the very beginning, and that's kind of what got a lot of attention and stuff. And then we got contacted by um, um, another, like, a man who was, like... Kind of, he was very involved with it and stuff. OK, and so what involved. happened last week? Because I saw police at the gates of your mm -hmm. school. It was a peaceful protest and everything, so... It was just us literally just wearing skirts and not coming in in trousers. And you were, you know, you were refused entry to the school yeah. because you were wearing a skirt. Yeah, so we were, like, trying to get in and sort of say that we wanted our education and they were just, like, standing there, not letting any of us through, like, holding their arms over the gate and stopping us from getting through. I think they should police it properly because yeah. a lot of schools do wear skirts and girls roll up their skirts, but they police it properly so that it's not... Inappropriate. Because so they, they say that the, the main reasons stated by the school are that they want to have gender neutrality when it comes to clothing because it basically relieves any kind of tension surrounding uniform and so on. But also they say that they want to accommodate transgender students and not make them feel uncomfortable. Now, my issue with that is I have no problem with transgender people and I have great respect for them and what they go through and fully respect their rights. I don't see why all the rights of girls, in this case, to be girls and to wear a skirt should be changed so dramatically just to accommodate a, one or two students who may be transgender. Nor do I think it's fair on families having to fork out now for an entirely different uniform, sometimes when they've only got a year left at school. So on every level, this seems to me to be something that's been taken by a school for no proper reason. It's just, it's kind of woke. It's kind of, we feel like we should be doing something. But the uniform isn't transgender. There are boys' trousers and girls' trousers, and there's no skirt. So if a child is transgender and wants to present as female, they can't do it because there are no well, skirts. Well, that's the key thing, isn't it? And also, you know, a girl, girls, I, I want to speak for you, but you've grown up in a world where feminism's become a big talking point and where a woman, a girl's right to choose how they look and what they wear okay. has been fundamental to that. Now you're being told you're not allowed to but dress Christmas, like girls. OK, and I'll put the other point, which is schools are in charge of uniform. You don't get a lot of choice when you're at school. What is the problem with girls wearing trousers? Well, they've taken... The, the girls have been wearing skirts and then they've... They're effectively, we're wearing the boys' uniform now mm. and they... We were told... Uh, the main issue is we were told that they could carry on with their current uniform um, for two years ago. No, to be fair to the school, they just want one uniform, but don't they? But it's costing the parents yes. 100... We, these girls are at school for nine months. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and then they leave, they graduate, they do their GCSEs. They have got... You can see they've got perfectly, you know, nice uniforms mm. on at the moment. We're going to all have to spend £111.90 on new uniform for nine Why months. Why does it cost so much to buy that, trousers? Well, because it's, well, it's, it, the trousers are from um, a specific supplier, but you can buy them elsewhere. But the is jumper is not from a specific supplier. Mm. You have to buy the branded okay, jumper. OK, but no-one's arguing about the jumper. No, but, you, well, you know, it's a new uniform, which... It, Why do these, you, these, Why do you, these, Susanna? These girls yeah. are concerned somebody about Somebody who has trailblazed a woman's right to choice... Because when Why it comes are you to school uniform, depriving... you don't have a right to choice. But you do. No, but you, you do. do. Women have choice of, of girls skirts have always been able to wear skirts. And now well, they've that, taken that's away the, one the, thing the girls. That you've it's had a always choice the girls. Over. It's always Not the girls. Me, girls. And I think that's a really good point. Yes, the girls, but and girls, girls families in this instance have got to buy. We've got to buy a whole new uniform, and we've got to buy a skirt. And the girls' mm. trousers are more expensive. But why not let boys wear skirts? And why not have students the choice of skirts or trousers? And they choose. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Why can't everyone have the choice of a uniform? You do have a problem with that. The school has a right to dictate. Any uniform it wants. Yes, and yeah. I also think that it's tough on the girls mm -hmm. if they're the ones that have to bear the brunt of so the change. Do you agree with me? Yeah. No, but, but I don't think the students get the right to choose their uniform. But these, I think the no, school should the girls want the right to carry on wearing skirts, right? But also, Principles. these girls don't embrace fast fashion. They care about the climate, mm. and they are being asked to destroy. The, mm. Get rid of thousands of clothes, which you know are perfectly serviceable. Which is environmentally unfriendly. It's, it's yeah. completely yeah. not every, sustainable. This, this doesn't tick any box that the school thinks is ticking. Well, let's yeah. talk to someone who thinks it does. Thank you very much. Thank you to very much. All of you. Uh, we're joined by the local MP for Lewis, Maria Caulfield, um, and also by writer and feminist Harriet Minter. Who I think. Right, Harriet, you're a great Agreed feminist. You, you've come on here for years preaching yes. about feminism and a woman's right to choose. I do like to preach about And here about you it, are, yes. sitting here now, about to tell Sharing me why it's right for girls to be ordered not to wear skirts. So what I'm, I think is... When they want to. What, 
Well, they might want to, but it's a school uniform. None of us wanted to wear our school uniform. I didn't like mine. I don't know anyone who did. So why does the school not have the right to say this is the uniform? The whole point about a school uniform is it sets a level playing field for everyone. You turn up, you all wear the same mm -hmm. things. There's no kind of jockeying for who has the best clothes. Do you ever wear skirts? Fashion. Yeah, I had to wear a kilt, actually. Right, so if I, I told you it. you're not allowed to wear a skirt anymore... Shit, Harriet's but not I'm at school an anymore, adult. Piers. No, but how would you, would you... Would you object to that? Because you, as a woman, you want to exercise your right to choice. And you don't what? have a right to choose when you're actually, at school. So you don't have a right to work, choose what turn you, time you turn up, actually, what time so you, you go home. For a hundred years or with. more, schools in this country have allowed girls to wear skirts, right? Under why are uniform, we, pink, why are we suddenly uniform. doing this nonsense? Who is no, actually they, ordering this? Or also, Who are these people? Is ordering it, but they're looking at it and saying, what is going to be best for our pupils? It's not best for the people. The they don't want to wear them. Those particular pupils don't want to wear them, and I understand that. There's hundreds of them outside. Why they don't want, to. don't want to wear them. But that's unfortunately not like we thought feminism meant we were allowed if to were wear skirts the school, if we wanted to. If they were to. turning up at the school gates in a tutu and a mohawk and foot-long nails, yeah. you would say they don't have a right to wear that to school. No. It is just because no, you think... No, he'd say they have a right to choose to wear oh, that, Harriet, Oh, you think they remember. would, Piers? You yeah. think they would? You Maria would be Paul totally Paul OK. Actually, there were kids with, with a Tomahawk Mohicans in my school, yeah. OK. I quite envy them. Maria Caulfield, you have spoken to the school about this. What's their... Response. Well, the school are being uh, very determined on this and say if the the uh, young women turn up to school today in a skirt, they will be uh, sent out um, and that will happen tomorrow and the next day and the next day. They are not going to allow them to wear skirts. Yeah, does the school not have a right to enforce its school uniform policy? But also, the young women have a right to an education. To see young women, you know, 50 but they can so have girls, an education. Yeah, if they turn so up, girls if they turn turned up away by the police. By, with the uniform policy, they have the education. So, so the school can order... Education. So the school, Harry, can order these kids to wear anything they want and you'd be fine with that? The school... Where does, yeah. it end? Where does it end? A uniform. Because, you know, these you're going to wear women. black balaclavas, right? Are you happy with that? that wouldn't be are you happy with that? Uniform. Or would you actually think the school, school had gone too far? They're not going to pick that as a school uniform. The whole point about the school uniform is to make sure the kids can be easily identified, to make sure that everyone's well, in a level playground. They can do that with a skirt. You know, there's many schools in the local area where the young women wear skirts. And at the time of puberty, when Why their bodies the are going... Why do need to wear skirts? skirts? Why are we so upset? Because they want to wear skirts. They want to be girls. They are young women. Girls wear skirts, shocker. make you a girl. Girls should be allowed to wear skirts. Women should be allowed to wear... They like. Since I put them on. No, but the boys Ridiculous. were wearing skirts and they were turned away as well. So this is about skirts. It isn't about boys wearing skirts or girls wearing a skirt. You know, these young women are their bodies are going through changes, and for some of them, they want that choice to be able to wear a skirt. And as long as that's in keeping with school uniform, maybe to a certain length, but then that should be enforced. But it's but not to take in keeping away choice, with this school's uniform. That's the reality. You're taking away the choice of this school so to set what it wants as its uniform policy. The most important year of okay. It's going to exclude people who don't follow the uniform. Policy. Let's have a um, Somebody here, Debbie Plummer, said in the early 90s, my school protested to allow girls to wear trousers. So the boys all came in in skirts and the girls came in in trousers. The policy was changed. Maybe the boys at Lewis Priory should all turn up in skirts tomorrow. I think well, they Show a bit of solidarity yeah. with the ladies. Yeah, and they were excluded as well. Of course um, they are. A I think spokesperson you... from the school said Priory school uniform is designed to be a practical uniform which encourages students to be ready to focus on their schoolwork and activities. Our uniform also helps us to dilute the status placed on expensive clothes or labels and challenge the belief that we are defined... What, well, actually, what, what they're wear. doing is, is making families fork out another 100 quid for a completely pointless new uniform to stop girls from wearing skirts, which nobody wanted. It's something the school just created, invented. Who's, who who, who actually has led this charge? ..for this new change? Cos not everybody turned up in well, defiance the of the uniform in, policy. In the situation is, for new students, who uh, this policy was set out for, I think the parents are, are, are accepting of it, but the older children or pupils, um, for the last two years, was, was supposed to be excluded from this. And it's only in the summer holidays, once they've bought uh, their new uniforms, that the policy has changed. Mm. So for many of them, they've already bought their uniform for the year. So the school should have brought people on board. They, the the they? top uh, two years were excluded from this policy and all of a sudden that's changed yeah. and that's what's caused the controversy right. in this case. Right. So well, lower down the school, you think there's generally an acceptance? There is, but uh, there is okay. some concern from parents as well that, you know, should their uh, daughters want to wear skirts to school, they should be allowed to. And I'm usually very supportive of schools 
and enforcing school policy. But to do this uh, for a, a, you know, a politically correct motive, I do have con some but concerns. But are they doing it for a politically correct motive or are they doing it, as they say, so that everyone's on an equal playing ground mm -hmm. so we don't put as much well, status on what feel. we wear? They're doing they it to be feel. PC and woke and they're doing it... And they actually stated they're doing it because some transgender students may Where feel did uncomfortable. They, I haven't found them that stating that. That is in that. their stated explanation. But also, isn't that just... It's not in their statement. inclusive of everyone. You know, they've mm. cr tried to create a uniform that is going to make as many people as possible happy. It's a school uniform. No one's going to love it. No. You just have to wear it for a few say? years. So in sixth form, are we going to then ban skirts? Oh. At university, are we going to ban skirts? In the They're workplace? They're not banning they... skirts. They, they are, are banning taking skirts. They are literally banning... Policy. They are literally <laughs> banning skirts. They are literally <laughs> enforcing the, so when the you say they're not banning policy. skirts... You can wear a skirt Harriet, at home, you can wear a skirt... No, Harriet, they are banning girls from wearing skirts. At school. At school. Bottom line. At school. At school. At school. All right, Harriet, that's where it starts. Thank you very much indeed.